Hello there, my name's Liz and I work for FCC Innovation. We're an office technology company with offices in Cambridge, Norwich and Ipswich. Normally, this time of year in the spring, we would be setting off on a tour of local business and trade shows, but obviously 2020 has had other ideas. And here I am welcoming you to my home office here in Norfolk. Um, I apologise in advance if my one and three year olds make themselves known behind the door, um, but they should be playing out in the garden with their dad for the next 10 minutes. Anyway, what I'm hoping to talk to you about is a little bit about FCC Innovation as a company, but mostly about some of the things that you might like to think about if you are considering more working from home, more productive work from home, whether you're thinking about how we get through lockdown or whether you're now thinking, how do we get through what comes after lockdown as the restrictions begin to ease? I'm recording this in advance, so it's a Thursday. I don't know yet um, what will be announced on Sunday, but I think it's fair to say that things will be different and won't perhaps go back to the way they were before, certainly not for the next few months. So the three key themes that I want to look at are access. Access to files for you, for your colleagues, and sharing those files, collaborating on those files. Can you get to everything you need to get to from home? Secondly, I want to look at communication and particularly communication between you and your customers rather than between you and your colleagues and some of the things that we perhaps could help you with to make that simpler. And finally, a little look at productivity as well. Your time and your colleagues' time is precious. What are you doing with that time and are there places where you could save time by doing things a little bit differently, perhaps with automation or perhaps with slicker processes of some kind? So in the next 10 minutes, there will be a lot of questions. And the idea of that is to get you thinking about your particular circumstances. Every one of you watching this will have a different business model and um, a different way of working, a different industry that you're working in. So it's not going to be a one size fits all solution for everybody. Okay, so at this point, I'd like to start sharing my screen so that you can see some slides as I go forward. Um, so just excuse me a moment while I set that up. There we go, so you should now see, welcome to my office. I'm working solutions to suit you and your colleagues. Now the first thing that I wanted to do is just give you a brief history of FCC Innovation. FCC Innovation is a trading name for the office side of the business and the registered company behind it is First Copy Corporation Limited. And First Copy is now coming up to its 30th birthday and First Copy has been a mono-branded Xerox partner for that whole time. We bring the global giant of Xerox down to a local level. And the office side of the business is now under FCC Innovation because we understand that for most people, print is not just about a copy now. Documents are not just about a copy now. What you do with a document is translate it and store it and share it and edit it and collaborate with it. And therefore, the word copy didn't quite cover that. So we are now FCC Innovation. In normal times, we've got physical premises in Norwich, Ipswich and Cambridge. Obviously, these aren't normal times. So currently, the team is scattered right across East Anglia and we're working completely remotely. That doesn't mean that we're not working by any stretch. All our normal services remain running. We've still got our help desk and sales and admin and everything up and running. We offer a huge amount of office technology, so not just printers and what used to be called managed print services and are now intelligent workplace services but all sorts of things for remote working and for efficient and productive offices. So if anything at all in the next slides piques your interest or you think I'd like to know more about that, or is this something that my business really needs? What's in it for me? Give us a call. Um, we've got sales accounts managers and we've got analysts waiting to speak to you and give you the benefit of their advice. So first we're gonna have a little think about access. So the question is, do you know where all of your documents are and in what format? Do you know who has got access to all of those documents? Are some of them in filing cabinets? Are some of them stored in a Dropbox that you've got? Are some of them on somebody's desktop? At this point in time, under pandemic conditions, who can currently get access to them within social distancing rules and who needs access to them? Have you got colleagues that are furloughed and do you need to access some of their documents while they're off? So in terms of the solutions, these are some of the things that you'll find on our website. 
do you need to go right back to digital transformation and turn your hard copy documents into digital documents or are you already working predominantly with digital documents that's going to have an effect on what you do and how you do it have you considered your obligations under GDPR to make sure that only the people that need to access those documents can access them? And we'd just like to mention while we're here one particular product that we're currently offering free until the end of July as part of our response to the pandemic, and that's Folder. Folder comes from a company called Selectec, and it's a hybrid cloud storage system. Now, what that means in practice is it gives you one interface where you can access, edit, share and manage your files. And the great thing about Folder is you don't need VPN access for it to work and your files don't all have to be in the same place. So if you've got some on OneDrive, if you've got some on premises network storage, we featured it in our April blog post if you have a look on our website. Okay, so moving on quickly now to communication and as I said earlier we're thinking more about customer communication for this particular presentation. So what about your brand and marketing strategy? Do you have one? Do you have a simple style guide? Have you had to revisit that in light of the epidemic and change something so that you are putting more effort into a different area of your strategy right now because things have changed? Have you actually had to turn your service on its head and you need to do something different and produce new materials, um, but could you do that in a way that's consistent with your current brand identity so that it's obvious that it's still you that's offering these different services? We think whatever the situation is over the next few weeks, it's perhaps more important than ever for you to keep in touch with your customers so they know what you're doing, they know what you're offering, they know how to contact you. Do you still need to post and distribute flyers, catalogues, menus? If so, see we supply printers as well. Do you want to bring that in-house or do you want to find a local print partner that can help you with that? Do you still need to send post? If you do, are you needing to print at home with work from home bundles? We've just set those up in response to customer demand. But also we'd say to you, do you even need to print and post it yourself and spend that time going to the post office or going down to the post box? The answer is no. And it might sound odd that an office technology company that began selling Xerox devices is saying you don't even need a printer. But as we said earlier, print has gone far beyond a hard copy page. Now you can drag and drop what you need to post into a folder and away it will go. Somebody else will print and post it for you and it'll still be delivered by Royal Mail. So it's worth investigating, especially as it might still be cheaper and will be cheaper than your Frankie machine that might be left behind in your physical premises right now. So again, have a look on our website at Postworks, see how hybrid mail works or get in touch with us and we'd love to talk to you. Okay, so some more solutions there. Um, beyond hybrid mail, you can see the Postworks logo there. But how are you keeping your branding aligned? One thing that you could do to keep that consistent image is have a look at XMPI. Now, what XMPI intends to do is bring all your messaging into one conversation. In its own words, it describes itself as the leading technology for engaging your audiences with personalised relevant communications across digital and print touch points. Now, what that means in plain English is you can use it to create, manage and monitor all of your campaigns, whether they are printed or whether they are digital. There's lots more about that on our website. And if that seems a bit too much for you at the moment, you might be interested to know that you can also get a free XMPI app, which will allow you to make personalized cards and calendars and very topically for where we are at the moment, also download coronavirus posters instantly to put up around your office. There's a video showing just how intuitive that app is on our website, ready and waiting for you to have a look at. And it's completely free. Now, finally, the last of our three topics, productivity. Are there laborious tasks that your business is spending precious time doing? How many of your processes are already digitized and already automated? For instance, your um, accounts payable. And looking at your hardware, does that stack up for the modern workplace? Did it stack up before the pandemic? Does it still stack up now? Were you due to change things anyway? And now you're thinking, well, my staff aren't all going to go back into one office with that 
giant multifunction printer we used to have, they're actually going to be dispersed into smaller teams or some of them will be working at home more of the time or even all of the time. What are we going to do about the hardware? As far as the contracts for those go, where are you thinking? Are you still thinking cost per copy? Or have you changed that thought process slightly to think about the value that you're getting from that? Not just the print, but the translation into another language or the scan to email or the conversion into MP3 file. The list goes on and we'll think about that a little bit more later. Are you using apps on your printers? If not, why not? We're using them on our phones all the time. Why not use them on printers to simplify your business life as well? So just this week we wrote about the notation app and that converts handwritten notes into instant editable word files so you don't need to type up your minutes after a meeting. We also wrote about the connect to sage accounting app which will automatically pull information out of the invoices that you scan in your machine and from payments that come in and then it will populate the invoices into sage so you don't need to do that manually. Alongside that, there's the XMPy app that we already mentioned, an MP3 converter app so you can listen to files that have come in. There's instant translation into more than 40 languages, the auto redaction app, which will automatically blank out information that you don't want to appear on a physical printout. There's a support assistant, you can see where your toner is and you can um, ask for an engineer to come and see you. And then we've got the connector apps that link up to so many things that your business is probably already using. So whether that's DocuSign, QuickBooks, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, Office 365, OneDrive, Blackboard, Evernote, Salesforce, Clio, iManage. I'll stop there, but it gives you an idea. There's apps for everybody, for every type of business, for every sector, and even specific fields like legal, accounting, education, and healthcare. I've just included here a screen that shows all of those questions that we raised in summary in case anybody wants to screenshot it. Just give you a moment there. And finally, thank you for bearing with me through the last 10 minutes. It's great that you were able to watch this today. And as I say, please get in touch with us if there's absolutely anything here that you'd like to speak to us about that you might be interested in. We hope to see you at a real show soon. We really believe that we're here to help and that we'll all get this through this better if we help each other. So hopefully there's something here we can give you a, a hand with over the next few months. Our website is on the screen there, fccinnovation.co.uk. And there you'll find videos, you'll find content, you'll find downloads, find more about us, our products, and also about key themes um, that are particularly important in the world of office technology like GDPR, sustainability. You'll even find us under FCC Innovation on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. So until next time, thank you ever so much for listening and watching and goodbye. <laughs>